Hey everybody, this is Nicholas Rogers with the Big Timber! Lodge, coming back at you today with another, I don't know, fun and exciting video where we're gonna take a look at can you take a bolt action rifle, improve its performance, make it more comfortable, reduce its overall weight without breaking the bank. So let's jump right into this. So in front of me, I've got my CZ457 Pro Varmint with a 16 and a half inch threaded barrel. I love this rifle. I bought it to be my squirrel hunting companion. I bought it to take out into the field and hunt prairie dogs with. It is fantastic and I love it at the range. I don't love it in the field. I don't love it in the woods. It's too damn heavy weighing in at 9.2 pounds in this current configuration. And also it's just not that comfortable to shoot when I'm in the field. So let's introduce a company, MDT, that recently reached out to the Big Timber Lodge saying, hey, we wanna send you some products to review. Are you down? And I said, sure, let's start talking shop. And they said, well, what do you got? What do you got? And I said, well, I've got the CZ457, love it, but it's a little heavy. It's not that comfortable. And I wish it performed just a little bit better. And they said, we got you covered, man. And I said, well, I don't want to be spending thousands of dollars on something. They said, nope, we have something that's better than that. And I said, okay, what is it? Well, introduce the MDT Field Stock. Wow. Woo. I said, they can do all those things that I requested. They said, and more. What is the MDT Field Stock? Well, technically it's a stock built around an aluminum chassis to give you the performance of a complete chassis system with a true free floating barrel and where the aluminum doesn't need to be, it's a polymer overmold that will make the stock more comfortable to touch when you're in the field on those cold days and also make it more durable so it won't be as susceptible to scratches and dings with that polymer overmold. I said, okay, what are we talking about for price? They said $299. I said, that's it? They said, yeah, that's it. And they said, and it will cut down on the weight from your current configuration. I said, really? And they said, yeah, we are going to send you something else though, just to cut down on that weight a little bit more, the MDT Oryx bipod. I said, okay, what is this? I said, I already got an Atlas bipod. They said, the Atlas is fantastic. It's great, it's a great bipod, but it weighs a lot. This thing is like ounces. I think it's, it's 11 ounces. It's 11 ounces, it's not even a pound. And it's supposed to be just as rigid as really, really high-end steel bipods. Now we will see when I get to the shooting portion of this video. But I can tell you right now, this is 9.2 pounds on this current configuration. I'm very excited to cut some weight. Both this rifle and myself need to go on a diet. <laughs> so, um... Chef's kiss to Paige over at MDT for choosing this OD green color. She told me I was gonna like it. I didn't know how much I was gonna like it until I saw it in person. And boy, does this thing look fantastic. The rifle's action, it's not interfering. Works perfectly. Magazine comes out, goes in. There are other actions that you can drop into this chassis, which I'll put up here. And some of those you might have to purchase a separate magazine to work with the field stock. Now. I'm ready to get to the range. All right, so this is the inaugural test of the CZ457 with the MDT field stock. Very nice lever on this Oryx bipod as well. So I can get my firearm level and then easily manipulate the lever. And now the head is not going to articulate. 
I made adjustments to my cheek riser. Very easy to adjust. The cheek comb, really like how that adjusts so easily and it stays secure. Okay. I'm excited to see that one. But look at this target. Not bad at all. Tiny little grouping at 50 yards. Let's get that measured up. So what can I say? <laughs> a .4 MOA group with the first outing with only a 16 and a half inch barrel CZ 457. The field stock, here's my first impressions after leaving the range incredibly stable it feels very well constructed i'm actually extremely surprised at how stable it felt utilizing just the bipod and a rear bag i was really able to get that crosshair to settle down at 50 yards and achieve that 0.4 moa group now i love my cz 457 with only having a 16 and a half inch barrel but there are going to be much more accurate rifles out there that can actually utilize the ability that the field stock can provide for you at such a low cost it kind of blows my mind at how well it feels constructed for only costing 299 dollars now I talked to the folks at MDT, the only portion of that stock that actually has the aluminum chassis is the fore end. The rest is just polymer. But it doesn't feel flimsy in the buttstock or in the grip. I would have guessed that there would have been aluminum skeleton inside of the polymer, at least in the buttstock and the grip, but there isn't. But you can't tell. <laughs> it's incredibly put together well and so far i don't have any major complaints but if we're going off my list of you know does it improve performance yes does it reduce weight no it did not <laughs> i actually weighed it last night and it came in several ounces heavier than the previous configuration with the boyd stock now, that leads to the next question of, does it improve comfortability? Well, at the range, it's a little bit difficult to tell, but I was able to get that cheek riser perfectly aligned with my face to get a really comfortable cheek weld and really be able to have a comfortable eye box without straining my head. And I will say for comfortability, yes on that. Now. If you want to know if it's truly going to be comfortable as a hunting stock, you're going to have to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications because here, probably this coming weekend, I'm going to take it up into the mountains and do some squirrel hunting or take it out in the plains and do some all day prairie dog hunting. Either way, I'm going to be hiking all day long and I'll be able to give you an honest assessment of if it's more comfortable to carry and how it operates for me in the field. But just from my initial impression, it's doing fantastic, especially at that price point. I don't think, I currently don't even know of any other stock chassis system that you can purchase at that price point that's going to feel as quality as this field stock does. And hey, proof is in the pudding when it comes to improving performance. You just saw me shoot a 0.4 MOA group, five shot group, with a 22 long rifle at 50 yards. So leave a comment, let me know what you think. Do you have any experience with the field stock? 
Do you have any tips for the trade? What do you think? So until next time, peace.